Hi everybody, Happy New Year. Welcome back, we're in lockdown number three, hence another video. So we are gonna be working on a detox float. So just make sure you've got some water handy and it's a really, really good idea to practice this first thing in the morning on an empty tummy or maybe wait three to four hours after eating. So we'll get started. So first of all, we're gonna find a hand mudra. We're separating the ring finger and the middle finger apart, as you can see, just tapping the thumb inside of the ring finger and just pressing down. Press those hands down on your kneecaps and start to close down those eyes. We're just gonna to start to connect with our breath now. So start to breathe deeply in through the nose. Fill up the belly. And exhale through the nose or through the mouth, whatever suits you. We're taking two more breaths to ground ourselves into practice. So start to let go of what's on your mind. And just feel the present moment as you're breathing in. And exhaling out any tension away. I'm gonna work on a mantra today. So just repeating with me, I honor my body by taking great care of it every day. And again, I honor my body by taking great care of it every day. One more time. I honor my body by taking great care of it every day. Breathe that in, feel those words, and see your hands at your heart center, and use this as your intention for your practice ahead. Start to open the eyes. We're gonna inhale the arms up tall overhead, breathing in, and exhaling hands back at your heart center. Inhaling up again, deep breath in. We're gonna to twist to the right this time. So just gently again, looking over your right shoulder, just taking that twist from the navel, taking a deep breath in here to create some length. You'll feel yourself twisting around a little bit further to the right. Inhale, arms up to center. And exhale, we sweep to the left this time. So just have a little gentle look over the left shoulder. Growing tall with the inhale. And the exhale, we soften a little bit further around, so twisting from the navel. Inhale, arms up tall. And exhale, hands work to your heart center. Let's find our tabletop position. So walking knees underneath hips hip width and hands underneath shoulders at shoulder width. We're going to be working on our Ujjayi breath, which is our pranayama, our yogic breathing. So we simple, simply work breathing in through the nose and exhaling slowly. Just imagine fogging up the mirror as you exhale out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose, an audible breath. And exhale out through the mouth. Really calming, really cleansing for the body. So if you can this time, breathe in through the nose, drop the belly, roll the gaze forwards, lift your heart forwards, coming into your cow pose. And on the exhale, empty, tap the chin to the chest, navel draws in. Once again, audible breath, inhale through the nose, drop the belly as you breathe in. So you just link that breath to the sound of the ocean, exhaling out through the mouth. Off through the nose, you should feel a slight constriction at the back of the throat. So inhale, drop that belly, roll the gaze forwards. Feel that energy traveling into the belly and exhale to empty. Draw the chin to the chest, navel works to the spine. And you're tucking your tailbone under. Let's do two more. So inhale, drop that belly, roll the gaze forwards. And exhale, drawing everything back in, navel to spine, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, drop the belly, lifting the gaze. And see if you can breathe it out through the nose. Just linking the ocean breath. Just imagine the sea coming in and drawing back away. So let's find our neutral position. Just once again, checking to make sure the wrists underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. We're going to send the right leg out behind us this time, so the knee is facing down, the foot is facing down, just making sure you've got enough room. Just come a little bit further forward, rotate by the door. 
we inhale, dropping our bellies, rolling our gaze forwards, lifting the foot up, and exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, using that audible breath, inhale through the nose. Not too deep, just make sure you can hear the sound of your own breathing as you inhale in, and exhale away. One more time, inhale, roll that gaze forwards, lifting your heart, and exhale, knee to nose, really crunching around. We're coming back to neutral position, we're going to send the right foot over the left, towards the back of the left hand side of the mat, towards the back, and slowly rolling our gaze around to look at that left heel, pushing the left heel back, just to get a nice calf stretch as well. Taking a moment to take a deep breath in, and exhale, swapping round a little bit further to the left. Inhale back to centre and then crossing that leg. Let's go to the other side. Inhale the left leg behind you. So just flexing through the heel, lifting your gaze forwards and exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift your heart forwards, peel the chest open and exhale, knee to nose, crunch. Inhale, lift your heart forwards, feeling that lift, creating that balance as well. And exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Inhale, lift your heart forwards. Soften the shoulders. And exhale, crunch. Knee to nose. Send the left foot back towards the back of the top right hand, sorry, back to right hand corner. Send the heel back. And we're slowly going to roll the gaze to the right, looking back at that, that left heel. And let's just take a nice cleansing breath into the belly. And if you can, soften a bit further as you look to your left, to your right, sorry. Coming back to your neutral position, making sure the knees are underneath the hips. This time we're going to sweep the, the right arm up towards to the sky, so lifting that gaze. And exhale, sweeping under. Right ear comes down to the mat. On the next inhale, we lift up. Sweeping under, it's really helping to tie the digestive organs, really helping to toxify as well. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, using that Ujjayi breath. Imagine fogging up that mirror again. Setting down this time, so the right ear is resting down, the right temple rests. We sweep the left arm right round, if you can reach the right hip crease, and just taking a moment to take a breath in. Creating space between the ribs and between the shoulders. Allow yourself to melt as you exhale. Slowly bringing the left hand back and then threading the right arm up to the ceiling, to the sky. And exhale, that right hand down. Let's go to the other side this time. Inhale the left arm up towards to the sky. Reach up, bring that gaze up. And exhale, we thread it under. Left ear comes down. Inhale, getting fly going on, so lifting. And exhale. Deep cleansing breath in. And exhale, sweeping under. So breathing properly helps just get rid of 70% of the toxins in your body. It's so important to breathe deep, filling up the full part of the lungs. So let's sweep the right arm back to the left hip crease. And just take a moment, just to settle in. Send a deep breath to the places where you feel the tension. Send your energy in to unblock those tight areas. Bring that right hand down, unthread the left, reach up, fall to the sky again. And exhale, that left hand down. Slowly walking the hands, just one hand put in the front, just checking in to make sure the middle finger and the first finger is facing the top of the mat. Just checking the knees are hip width, we're going to tuck our toes. And we're going to send our hips up to the sky this time. So we're slowly going to come and make our way into an inverted V. Just making sure you're not loading the wrist, you're pressing into the forefinger and into the knuckles as well. And sending your upper body back to the thighs. Maybe you want to have slight bend in the knees as well. Just to send the hip bones up a little bit, sit bones up and hip bones up a little bit higher. So let's just take two to three cleansing breaths when you're ready. Deep cleansing breath in through the nose. Let any tension melt away. And again with me, inhale in. Let it go. One more time, 
deep and your breath in. Deep to the belly, sending out any tension and toxins. So you bend into the knees, bring the gaze towards the top of the mat and start to walk your feet. One step at a time, or one foot and then the other. Folding forwards, finding your forward fold or Uttanasana. Bend kindly into the knees and allow the crown just to feel nice and heavy, sinking down. If this is first thing in the morning, the hamstrings might be quite tight, so just be very kind, loosen your body, making sure that you're working with it, not against it. So, we're going to the fingertips. We're going to take a pedal with our feet, so lifting one heel and then the other. So just keep sinking your crown down. Bending through the left, rounding through the right, and then we swap over. Lifting the right heel, and this time we're going to lift up the left arm. So we're going to reach up to the sky, taking another twist. And exhale down. Inhale this time, raising up the right arm, bending through the left knee, bringing that gaze up. Exhale down. One more each side, lifting up to the left this time. Bring your gaze up. Exhale down. One more time. Sweeping that energy up to the sky, reaching up. And exhale down. Slowly peeling up one vertebrae at a time. We make our way slowly up to a standing position. Maybe drawing the shoulders up to the ears and exhale back down the body. I'm just going to come and face you guys. So just stay towards the tops of your mat. Just make sure you're watching. And we're just going to ground through the feet. See so the feet are going to be hip width apart. We sweep our arms up with an inhale, reaching up tall. Really going to help stretch out those internal organs to create some space. And we're going to interlace the hands, push the palms up tall to the sky. I'm going to find our palm tree pose. So we're going to sway over now to the left, our hips to the right. Inhale up to centre. I'm going to go to the other direction. So just keep scrolling the hips to the front. Inhaling up. Exhale to the left. Just stretching out the shoulders, stretching out the side body. Feeling good. Inhale up this time. We're going to sway all the way around. So we're going to come to the left and draw our body all the way around, bending kindly into the knees as we sweep down and as we're coming back up. We're taking two of these each direction. So pushing up and then swaying all the way around. Allow the crown, the neck, the shoulders to soften as you reach down and then lifting back up. Swaying again, left to right. And then coming all the way to the right this time. So I'm bending to the knees and drawing our bodies back up. Just feel really nice for the body. One more time. Coming to the right, bending the knees and coming all the way around. Let the head, let the neck go. And lifting up, using your core to lift you up. Reaching up to the maybe from the tippy toes if you want to. And exhale, sweeping your arms down. Let's make our way to the tops of the mat for our stand salutations. So just grounding through those feet, feel that energy lifting you up through the arches, kneecaps lift up, lift up the tailbone under, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Let's inhale the arms up tall to the sky, reaching up and hinging up those hips, folding forwards, finding your forward fold. Remember, always be kind, bend knee to the knees if that's good for you. Inhale halfway, crown forwards, hips back. And exhale, sweep those hands down. We set the left leg, the right leg back to what downward facing dog. Just make sure you're checking in your head is not over here. He's working, making sure the ears are in line with the inner biceps. So long line of energy. Right through to the spine, so it's working all together, neck and spine accordingly. Pedal up through those feet, lifting one heel and then the other. And just keep finding that lift with the core. Just keep, keep sending the sit bones up to the sky. Then you're taking a head nod from side to side if that feels good. Releasing off any tension you feel in the neck. Lifting the head front to back. And just letting that tension just melt. Inhale, let's move forward to our plank position. Coming into a nice long straight line. So firming the forearms together. Sending the heels back. Feel that lift in the core. Send the shoulder blades back down the body. Coming forward a couple of inches onto the big toe, lowering the knees, chest and chin as they come all the way down. Slowly start to line fingertips up now with the shoulders, elbows hug into the body, so feel them 
connecting to the side of the body. We're going to inhale, looking over our right shoulder, pressing into the hands. Exhale down. Let's travel to the left. Inhale to the left. Using your back muscles to strengthen. Exhale down. One more. Inhale to the right. Exhale down. Inhale to the left. Keep grinding up through the pelvis and through the hips. Exhale down. The next inhale will push you back to your table. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, find your downward facing dog. Now slowly walk the feet in towards the width of the mat. Should I say in? I said one in out, sorry. <laughs> walk those hands, one hand width back towards your knees. We're pressing now into the left hand, so press down into the fingertips as well, into the knuckles. And we're going to sweep the right hand, lifting off the mat and sweeping to the outside edge towards that left ankle and revolving around looking under the left arm. Taking a deep cleansing breath in. And exhale, really landing that right hand. We're gonna to go to the other side. Inhale, pressing through that right hand and sweep the left arm to outside the right ankle and looking under, revolving around the right arm. Just make sure the weight is distributed evenly through the feet and through that hand and come back to your centre. Slowly walking those feet back in, sending the hips down, bring the gaze towards the top of the mat. You can walk, hop or, or step, then taking one step and then the other, finding your forward fold position, so bending those knees once again. Inhale, halfway, crown forwards, hips reach back, gentle lift. Exhale, we sweep down. Inhale, root to rise as you lift up all the way, engaging core, pushing your arms up to all overhead. New breath in for you do. And exhale, bring those hands to your heart centre. And maybe revisiting your attention. Breathing in. I take great care of my body. Exhale, I take great care of my body. And again. Inhale, I take great care of my body. Exhale, I take great care of my body. Start to soften our arms down. We're coming into a bit of balance as well as some twists. So just ground down through the feet. I'm just going to travel back so you can see me a little bit. Ground down through that left foot. Start to soften through that left knee slightly and find your gaze point in front of you. Something that's eye level, something that's still. This is your drishti point in yoga. So bring your hands together at your heart centre and slowly peel up that right knee towards your chest. The hips are square to the top of the mat. Inhale. Let's just take a moment to lengthen through the crown. We're gently going to twist over to the right side. Well done today. <laughs> bring your hands to your centre. So just work into your heart centre. Hips square to the front. Inhale forward and we're slowly going to step the right leg back. Coming into your high crescent lunge. Bend into the front knee, maybe if you need to wiggle that foot forward, like I do. Send the tailbone down and the crown reaches up. Inhale, lifting the sternum up. And exhale, hooking that right knee, right knee, sorry, right elbow with the left knee. And twisting, revolving round. Just keep grounding through the feet. Just keep working the hands to your heart centre. Feel that leanness out of those internal organs. Inhale up. We're sweeping the arms up into a high crescent lunge, tailbone sinks down. Exhale, cactus those arms, we squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift your heart. And let's just take one deep breath in. Breathing into the heart and the lungs, and exhale, sweeping the hands together in prayer. Start to walk the back foot in, soften the left knee, and we're just going to tip forward, finding our warrior three. Even if you just want to pull your foot behind you. Working just to sit, raise the heel up towards the sky. Your torso is parallel to the mat. Slowly stepping the left leg in, right leg in. Oh, I'm back to left today. Sorry guys. Oh, confusing everybody. So we're going to go to the other side. So ground through that right foot. Take a nice cleansing inhale in. And exhale, soften your body. So we're grounding through the right foot this time. We inhale, peeling the left knee to the body. So keep squeezing it in. We're gently taking an exhale, twisting over. So just twisting over to the left this time. So feel the twist from the navel. Inhale to centre. And we're slowly going to step the left leg back. 
setting up your high crescent lunge. So maybe you want to walk the foot a little bit further forward, taking a little wiggle. Just make sure the knee is at that ankle. Tailbone down, crown lifts up, lifting the stern, sternum with the inhale. Lifting those arms. And then back together. Grounding through that right foot. We just take a twist for the exhale. Hooking the left elbow right round, twisting to your right. Working the hands together at your heart centre. And just send your breath in to soften. The inhale up to centre, so reaching those arms up into your high crescent lunge. Tailbone down, drawing the lower ribs in, lower belly lifts, draws in. And exhale, cactus those arms, lifting your heart forwards. Let's take a deep breath into those heart and lungs. And exhale, bring those hands together. Balancing now on our right foot to start to walk the left foot in. Slight micro bend into the front right knee and start to tip your body forwards. If you have enough space, <laughs> heel fires up and slowly left leg walks back in. Save that one for me back to fall over. <laughs> That's the thing with balance. Some days you have it, some days you don't. So just important to work with your body. So we're going to ground through those feet this time. And then come through another half sun salutation. So inhale the arms up, reach up with the body. And exhale, hinging the hips, folding forwards. Let that crown sink down. Bend into the right knee, sweep that left arm up tall to the sky as we were before. Exhale down. Inhale, lifting up with the right, grounding with the left, bending with the left knee. Exhale down, find that forward fold. Slowly stepping back, right leg and left. Find love downward facing dog. Let's walk the feet as wide as the mat again as we were before. Walking the hand, one hand brings in. Rounding through the left hand, let's take an inhale, sweeping the right hand outside to the left ankle. <laughs> Looking under the left arm, we're revolving round. So we're pushing in now to that right hand to revolve around. Inhale in. And exhale, replanting that right hand. We go to the other side. Inhale, push into that right hand, lifting, sweeping towards the left ankle, right ankle, sorry, looking under the right underarm, cleansing breath in, deep to the belly, and exhale, slowly walking those feet in. We're drawing the feet together this time. We're taking an inhale, sending the right heel up towards the sky into your three-legged dog. So you're going to walk towards a little bit further, sorry, so I'm not going to take out the door again. <laughs> So just making sure the heel keeps radiating up towards the sky, taking an inhale in. And on the exhale, working the right knee outside of the right elbow, tapping the right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, lifting that left heel, squaring the hips. And exhale, sending the right knee, working over, tapping the left elbow, so twisting around the body this time. Inhale, lifting up tall, pointing that foot. And exhale, squeezing it to the chest, coming into that one-legged plank, and slowly stepping the right leg between the hands. Binding now, when you're ready, your high present lunge, and open your arms up. Do you worry you do? So just making sure the front foot is facing forward, and the back foot is a 90 degree angle, so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Bend into your front knee, and sweep those arms out wide. Making sure that the fingertips are working away from another and the back arm hasn't dropped down. So just check in. Flipping the front palm and reaching up and over, reversing your warrior. Reach up and over. Inhale, coming forward. Start to step the back foot in, one foot in. So the hips towards the back of the mat. Reach that right arm, the side body forward. Reach, reach, reach. And when you're ready, the right hand works gently onto the right shin, the left hand comes to the left hip and peel that left hip open to the side. Feel the shoulders stacking. Inhale that left arm up toward to the sky, coming in to your triangle, Trikonasana. Just taking two breaths here. Toning up the abdominal organs, toning the shoulders, lifting through the kneecaps. And exhale, lower the gaze down to the front leg, bend into the front knee, find your warrior D. Sweep the hands to the hips and rotate the hips toward the top of the mat this time. So just making sure you're squaring the hips, maybe you need to send the right hip back and the left hip forwards. 
just doing the same, making sure you're nice and even. When you're ready, inhale the arms up tall over overhead, draw in at the lower belly and reach for as far as you can. Halfway, bring that right hand to the right hip, the left hand comes down inside the right foot into the right side. Oh, my words out today, I do apologise. <laughs> the left hand next to the right insole. Twist your body around, so rotating it round now to the right, twisting from the navel, and if you can, reaching up to the sky with that right hand, stacking the shoulders. So just feeling the hips nice and even. Pushing down through the front big toe. Fill up the lift for the kneecaps. And keep drawing that right arm back, open the ear. Exhale down. Let's find our downward facing dog. So we're going to step the right leg back. Coming back into our downward facing dog. Taking two cleansing breaths in. In through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time. Deep breath in. Listen to the rhythm of your breathing. Cleansing out those tension, the tension in the toxin. Walking these feet in. We're going to inhale the left foot up to the sky this time. So just make sure the hips are nice and even, they're not over to the side, just making sure they're even, parallel to the mat. The heel is firing up towards the sky. Inhale in. Exhale, the left knee tap the left elbow. Inhale, we lift up. And exhale, left knee to right elbow, tap. Feeling that twist in the body, feel that strength in the core. We inhale, lifting up tall. And working the knee to the chest as I'm in between and slowly stepping the left foot between the hands. We're slowly going to make our way up into a high crescent lunge. Open the right arm into a semicircle. We find our warrior two. Stay where you are. I'm just going to spin around so you can see what's going on. <laughs> So we've got our left foot forward, our back foot parallel to the back of our mat, 90 degree angle. Bend into the front knee, just make sure the knee is over ankle. Sweep those arms wide, bend that left hip back to fill that openness. We'll just take a moment to soften the shoulders, maybe sinking down a little bit further. Warrior two, bit of adjustment two. Flip the front palm, reaching up and over, reverse that warrior. Also known as Sun Warrior, so bringing some sunshine. Not much today, but wishful thinking. Coming back to your Warrior Two. Start to straighten the legs and we'll set the back leg in one foot. Send the hips towards the back of the mat this time, so away from the left leg. Reach that left arm forward, so really stretch with that side body as long as you can. And once you've got your full length, the left hand rests onto the shin. The right hand comes to the right hip and peel the hip open. Start to draw the right arm up towards the sky, stacking the shoulders, feeling that toning effect of the body. Not holding your breath, so breathing in through the nose. And exhale so you can reach a little bit higher. Bring your gaze down to the front of the mat, left foot, bend into the knee. And see those arms back into your warrior two. Bring the hands to the hips, turn them to the top of the mat towards the left foot. Maybe you need to step the right leg out slightly, just feel what is good to draw the hips back. So the left hip works back, the right hip works forward, so they're nice and even. So if you can do so, just draw that left hip back a little bit. Start to straighten the front leg. We inhale the arms up tall, draw in at the lower belly, create that length with that inhale, and exhale, folding forwards halfway. Bring that left hand to the left hip, the right hand inside, I'll get this right this time, inside of the left foot. Just make sure you keep pulling the left hip back, the right hip forward, so they're nice and even. And when you've got that, revolve around from the navel, so twisting from the navel, revolving around to the left this time. And if it's available, reach that left arm up to the sky, coming into your revolve triangle. Probably t shirt for math, math. It's a mouthful. <laughs> So taking a moment, inhaling in. And exhale, soften, maybe rotating a little bit further. Bring that left hand down, bend through the left knee, and slowly setting back to your downward facing dog. Taking a moment, just settling with your breath again. Feeling what the pose has done for you today. 
just taking a moment just to work in again with your breathing. And keep drawing up with the core. Keep finding your inverted V. And slowly bend into those knees, bring the gaze towards the top of the mat, and step your feet towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, the crown reaches forwards, and exhale, sinking down. We're going to heel toe the feet towards the width of our mat, send the heels in and the toes out. I'm just going to turn around and face you, but where you are, just bend into those knees, squatting down into your Hindu squat, Malasana. And bringing the hands together at your heart centre. So I'm just going to turn around and face you guys just so you can see what's going on. So sinking down. So the heels should be grounded. The pressing the hands together at your heart centre and sending the knees away with the elbows. Lift up the body. Taking a deep breath in. And exhale. Send the right hand down. We inhale the left arm up to the sky. Bring that gaze up. And exhale down. Inhale the right arm up towards to the sky, taking that twist. And slowly when you're ready, exhale down. We're finding now our forward fold position. So find your sit bones onto the mat. Any fleshy areas we move back. So really, really ground through those sit bones. Taking a moment to slightly activate the feet. So just taking a little flexion of the feet. Maybe a slight bend of the knees if you need to as well. A really nice calming pose as well. Very, very good for your digestion and calming your nervous system. So inhale the arms up tall with that in breath as you lift. Lift in the lower belly. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, we fold forwards. Finding that length first of all. Trying not to round our backs. And then folding our crowns down. So working forehead to knee. And just taking a moment just to sink. Let the in breath travel into any area of tension. Feeling that energy moving around the body with that breath. Just take a moment to soften in. On the next inhale, slowly walking the fingertips in. We're going to cross the right foot now, just outside of the left knee, outside of the left thigh. So when you've got that. <laughs> Plant the right hand outside of the right hip, fingertips away, palms drawing in. Sitting up nice and tall, drawing that lower belly in. We inhale the left arm up tall, and bending of the elbow, we hook the left elbow outside the right thigh, and just take, J oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> take a gentle twist round to the right. We're twisting from the navel. We're wringing out all those internal organs, so just imagine them like, a nice big sponge, squeezing out those toxins. And once we release from this pose, new fresh blood flow goes to that particular area. So just taking a gentle gaze over that right shoulder, closing down those eyes if that feels good. And taking a moment to send your breath into your belly. And exhale, soften. Inhale, both arms up tall now, reaching up and planting the hands now over to the left hand side and sending your crown down. Taking a moment to breathe in between the shoulder blades. Two more breaths here. Remember, Ujjayi breath in through the nose. Coming back to your centre point and crossing the left leg. We're going to draw the right knee in. Oh, left and right again, sorry. I need a left and a right on my, my leg so I can just check in. And <laughs> left leg crosses over the right. Just check, just testing everybody today, that's what it is. Left hand sweeps round outside the left hip. Palms draw in, fingertips away. Inhale that right arm up to the sky, finding your length with your body to so lift up with the crown. Draw in at your belly and exhale, hooking that right elbow, twisting around, revolving round to the left. So just feeling those organs compressing. Sending your breath in and softening round a little bit further. Try and open the shoulders away from the ears. You're not forcing your body, just working with it. 
tall to the sky. Keep drawing in on that lower belly and exhale, planting those hands to the right hand side this time. So sending your crown down, releasing off the back of the neck and taking a moment to breathe into the shoulder blades. Releasing them all away. 
We're going to take five more breaths in our Shavasana, just a short one today, just in stillness. Namaste, thank you, 